एग्जाम्पल नंबर एलेवन दिस इज पेज नंबर नाइन्टी नाइन आर्या बुक टी को क्लास एट फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट स्क्वायर नंबर दैट इज डिविजल बाय ईच ऑफ द नंबर सिक्स एट एंड टेन द स्मॉलेस्ट स्क्वायर नंबर दैट इज डिविजल बाय ईच ऑफ द नंबर सिक्स एट एंड टेन So LCM of six, eight, and ten. First, we have to find out. That means uh, three, then four and five. That is two, two, three, four, five. That is seven hundred. Now we have to find out the smallest square number. Again, prime factorization of one hundred and twenty is two sixty two thirty two fifty thirty five. So you can see here that one twenty is equal to. Two into two into two into three into five. So only one pair is there. Otherwise, two and three and five don't have a pair. So we have to multiply. Question is asking: Find the smallest square number that is divisible by means of the six and ten. So here we will multiply with the two into. Three into five, then it makes it square. Complete square that is two square into two square into three square into five square. So that number we multiply with this number, and value of this is one twenty. So one twenty into two into three into five, and that number will be answer. So it is. Three sixty and one zero. That is three six zero zero. Is the answer. So, so finding the square roots by the prime factorization method. It was the one method of the other methods. Now the next method is by ones and the tens method. This method can be used to find the square root of perfect squares up to four digits. Up to four digits. Procedure for finding the square roots by ones and tens method. Step number one: Observe the one digit of the perfect square as discussed earlier. Perfect square numbers ending with the one, four, six, or nine will have two possible ones digits. So one, four, six, nine, five, zero. One, four, six, nine, and five, and zero. These are the numbers at the unit place of the perfect square numbers. So 
So here there are two possibilities one and nine. Here two one possibility. Two or eight, you know. Six. Four or six. Six is four. One, two, four, and six. Nine. Three and seven. And here five, only one. And zero here, here ten. Step number two: Strike out the last two digits, that is one and ten digits, from the right. For ten digits, step number three: For ten digits, think of a number whose square is less than or equal to the leftover numbers. Step four: Multiply the factors of ten in step number 3 for example uh, root under 2 3 0 4 uh, root under 2 3 0 4 so here at the unit place we can see a 4 is there so either 2 or 8 be possible here Either 2 or 8 is possible. So then 2, 3 is there. So we will strike out 0, 8. Sorry, 0, 4. Now we will see here. For which number? Suppose number is E2 or so if we multiply with the P2 or P8, then what will happen? Here it will be the 4 and here it will be the 4P and here it will be the P square. So we can say here Q. Here it will be the 4, 16Q plus 6 and here it is the Q square. So by step number 3, for the tens digit, think a number whose square is less than or equal to the left over number. So you have to think over here. Because P square is there or Q square is there. So which number it could be? So 5 into 5 is 25. And here it is 23. So it must be 4. Must be 4. So either 4 is there, P is 4 or Q is 4. So possible answer is either 42 or 48. Then so you have to multiply the factors of three. So here we multiply here factor of two twenty one then three of two here two 24, 12, 32, 32, 
here after striking the last OTG so 4 is there so now check whether 42 is fired in 204 or 48 is fired in 204 by multiplication then we have to find out that the if we multiply here by 3 then it will be the 48 so 48 into 48 that is Check whether the 42 square is 2304 or the 48 square is 2304. So here the 48 will be the answer. Here is the answer.